Member for Caribou North. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, I had the pleasure to meet with the Alliance of BC Students and hear firsthand from them about the biggest issues students in British Columbia are facing today. As we all have known, students across this province are struggling as they face heightened unaffordability and a lack of housing. But what stood out to me is the disturbingly high percentage of sexualized violence in post-secondary settings today. In May 2016, the Sexual Violence and Misconduct Policy Act was passed. I am very proud to have been part of a former government that took this important initial step to address sexualized violence on campuses across British Columbia. This legislation required all BC post-secondary institutions to develop and adopt a standalone sexual misconduct and violence policy before May 2017. However, the reality is that that act is now seven, year, seven years old and more action on sexualized violence is required. A study showed that 71% of students have either experienced or witnessed unwanted sexualized behaviors in post-secondary settings. By looking at this number, it is clear to me that the current system is failing students. Our campuses are not receiving the necessary funding for services and support to combat this increase. It's time to do the work necessary to ensure our campuses are safe, welcoming, and inclusive. I would like to thank the Alliance of BC Students for their continued advocacy and bringing this forward.